and I set it up pointing downwards and of course the cap fell off into the water and I had to dive in and retrieve it. It was quite pleasant in there though, 24 degrees in the water at the moment so it's warmer in the water than it is out here. And where is here? Where are we? Don't know. We don't know where we are. We know where we're going. <laughs> What's that? Christmas is coming. It's on my list. <laughs> I'm not sure about the electric wakeboard for Christmas, Baz. Sorry. But I do know that in last week's episode, we left you guys and gals wondering if we were going to get to Sunion without any more engine trouble. 2000, but we yeah. do have a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust, which yeah. is uh, more than usual. How far have we got to go? Uh, we've still got 12 miles. Okay. Let's get from here here without incident. Yeah. It's pretty much cleared up now, isn't it? Relieved? Well, yeah, but I mean, I know what it is. It's something I've been suspecting for a long time. Um, that's why I was on the jobs list for this winter. Definitely needs doing because we're actually getting diesel soot inside the, the engine there at the moment. So there must be some sort of crack in the uh, exhaust elbow or something, or a rusty part of the exhaust elbow. So it's yeah, just a big job that needs to be done this winter. We are back in the anchorage at Sunio for the third time and what a difference a day makes. Well, it's not really a day, it's probably more like three or four weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Well, last time we were here there were just yachts and yachts Chunk and yachts. Yeah. Today we've arrived, it's five past three in the afternoon and there is us and one other boat here. That's it. Yeah. Um, so we had the choice of where we wanted to anchor but we decided that um, as soon as we'd anchored here twice and had no problems, we'd do the same thing again and anchor in the same spot. Because mm -hmm. I think, you know, if something's working, yeah. just stick yeah. with it. Because there doesn't seem to be anywhere else that's better sheltered from any swell that comes in from the uh, ferry. Mm. So yeah. here's as good a place as any. Yeah. And actually, it's all right at the moment. We've got about five knots of wind coming out of the, uh, out of the west there. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's pointing us out towards the opening, which means that we're bows to any swell that's coming in anyway. Yeah. Should Sweet. be good. <laughs> so you're going to go and dive the anchor, right? I am. Just in case. Yeah, and I know that I won't get run over today. No, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit dicey last time. <laughs> okay, going. All right. <laughs> the, <laughs> the anchor, you can just see the roll bar and most of the shaft is covered, so the anchor is firmly set. And what about the uh, prop and keel? Any signs of any stuff around either of them? No. No? Nothing. So more than likely that issue is the exhaust elbow getting Motor vessel sooted bony. up. Motor vessel yeah. Bony yeah. And just like he said. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the man said. Whatever the man said. Wednesday morning, another mostly windless day. It's pretty calm out there. We're off to fill up the fuel tank today as we do another three hour hop to Porto Rafti. We will go past a marina and they've got a fuel dock which is fairly easy to get onto and off where we can top off our fuel tanks. And I'll give you a breakdown of why and our reasoning behind topping off our fuel now. You might find this interesting. As we left Sunion, we were 117 nautical miles away from our haul-out destination at Limney. If there was no wind, that would be 24 hours of motoring. 
which would consume 120 litres of diesel. Our fuel tank was less than half full at 82 litres. Therefore, we needed to stop somewhere soon to fill up the tank. As there was another boat at the fuel dock, Baz turned ABC around in the confined space and we headed back out to wait our turn. With 20 knots of wind on our nose, we decided we may have a better sail if we tacked. However, the wind gods had other ideas. So much for tacking, you just don't know, do you? Which means the bow is all over the place. Yeah. The wind can come and go. And you can see up there that it's probably less than 10 now. 1.3 knots of speed. Motor sail? Well, that would defeat the whole object of sailing. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? We're, we're actually sailing to save fuel. Uh, so, motor sailing is the same thing. So, if we put the motor on, we might as well just go straight to where we want to go. Yeah. I've not got enough headway to keep the bow in line. Yeah. What do you want to do, Captain? It's a tough cord. Yeah. I need the wind speed to make headway to keep the bow in line to keep the sails pointed high into the wind. But it looks like the wind's actually dropping it quite does. a lot. 15 knots of apparent wind. I'm doing 2.6 knots of speed. Which again defeats the whole object of what we were doing in the first place. Now it's going to take us four hours instead of two. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to say bugger it. We're going to put the engine on, point a porter rafty, put the bloody sails away, and down the wind. So frustrating. Feels very strongly about that. <laughs>
Windy said we were going to have less than five knots of wind today. Mm -hmm. Windy was telling porky pies, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> very big porky pies. We had 20 knots of wind on the nose today. Windy, sometimes <laughs> I just don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> Anywho, we're here, we're at Porto Rafti again. Uh, it's about uh, nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. It took a little bit longer than we expected, so we're glad we left early. Mm. We did manage to refuel on the way, so that was always good. And we got here uh, with enough light so that we could miss the weed and find a sandy patch. Find a sandy patch, yeah. Yeah. So we're in. Uh, we've moved slightly off where we usually anchor mm. uh, because a lot of people mm. swim there, and as mm. you saw in a previous video, we had a few difficulties last time with a guy who was snorkeling too close as we were trying to leave. Yes. So we've we've come off there and yeah. uh, gone into slightly deeper water, but that's fine. We're yeah. expecting the wind to drop and uh, just like the camera. <gasps> Did you say that? Camera's gone. Camera's had enough. So we are expecting the wind to drop and um, we might stay here for two days. Yeah, get a bit more work done before we do the next thing although i think it would be wise to check the other wind prediction sites just to be sure to be sure yeah so right. off we go off we go We're gonna have a cup of tea now oh and a slice of cake a slice of that'd be nice <laughs> <laughs> lovely to Good see to you see again you too. too and thanks maybe see you up the channel yeah yeah have a, on us. have a good trip Good morning, it's Friday and we're just leaving Porto Rafti and we're making our way over to Evia Island and we're going to an anchorage called Strongilo. It's about 20 nautical miles away so at our speed um, it's probably going to take about four hours. There's not really very much wind. Uh, we haven't come out of Porto Rafti itself just yet but there's no wind predicted although we know, we know how accurate they can be. Um, but the sea looks very calm and flat out there, so uh, we figure we'll probably be motoring most of the way. Anyway, when we get there, we'll have another little chat and tell you how long it took. calculations were a little bit out because we've been going a bit faster than we thought. Oh yeah, it's been quite good. Yeah. We, uh, we'll be doing about um, 5.9, 6.1 knots. Um, it's just dead flat. I think the wind is probably around about 5 or 6 knots. Uh, so not really an issue. And uh, it's, been, it's been a very easy uh, three hour hop really, isn't it? Yeah, it's been lovely. The, the sea is so calm. Yeah. And um, there's a bit of traffic around, but not much. We're the only yacht we've seen. <laughs> I reckon this time of year, any yachties that are still out are probably going south. Because I have noticed today that there is a bit of a chill factor in that breeze. Isn't well, we've both got our hoodies on. See? Yeah, hoodies. Yeah, slippers. Winter is coming. <laughs> winter, is, aye, winter is coming. You know nothing, John, John Snow. Snow. <laughs> So we're about an hour away from our destination and hopefully there'll be nobody else there and we'll just be able to anchor where we plan to anchor. Yeah, apparently um, it's 45 metres of sand, so that's be nice. Yay. We love sand. Yeah. So. yeah, looking forward to it. Actually, it's been, yeah, it's been a nice kind of relaxing, cruisy, chilly, chilly thing. Like chill, chill, yeah. chill, <laughs> and chilly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, when we get there, we'll show you what it looks like. Absolutely no need to dive the anchor because the water's so clear here, we can actually see the anchor and she's definitely dug in. Well, I've just had my early morning bath. I was setting up the GoPro at the bow to film the anchor, an anchor chain coming up. And I'd forgotten to take the little protective uh, cap off the, off the uh, outside cover of the housing. 
and I set it up pointing downwards and of course the cap fell off into the water and I had to dive in and retrieve it. It was quite pleasant in there though, 24 degrees in the water at the moment, so it's warmer in the water than it is out here. And where is here? Where are we? Don't know. We don't know where we are. We know where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Eritrea. <laughs> we are going to Eritrea. Are you one of the 49.8% of people who watch our videos and are not yet subscribed? Do us a favour, click that subscribe button down below and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future Sailing ABC episodes. It also helps us out a lot more than you can imagine. Hey, and don't be a stranger, leave a comment too, we love reading what you have to say.